Hi, welcome back. Stephanie Lee, Evidential Medium here. And this month we're talking about how to connect to the spirit world. We talked about connecting through our archangels. We talked about connecting to our spirit guides. We talked about connecting to our guardian angels. We talked about connecting to our spirit animals. And this very last one is how we want to connect to our loved ones that have crossed over. If you're feeling like you didn't get to say goodbye, if you're feeling like you need some healing, if you're feeling like there were things that were unsaid, right? If you are just, you just want to connect with that loved one. You just miss them. I totally understand. And you want some closure and you just want to know that they're okay. Then connecting to them is something that you have every ability to do. Everyone has the ability to connect to their loved ones in spirit. So, how do we do this? What do we do? How can we do it? Well, I'm going to talk about like maybe about three or four ways to do it. Um, so one is you can just have a conversation just like I'm having with you right now, right? You're just like, hey, hi mom, how's it going? Uh, I miss you. Uh, I really wish you were here. I, and, and just go on and have that, whole, just have that whole conversation, right? Because they can hear you. They are there to hear you and listen and be a part of your life. They know what's going on. So have those conversations. They can hear you. Have them all day long if you want to, right? Have those conversations. If that helps you in your healing journey, that's what you need to do. You can also connect with them through dreams. Like I, my grandmother comes to me in dreams all the time. And I know she's just there to say hi and make sure that she knows that um, that I know that she loves me and that she's still surrounding me and I love that. I love that she comes to me in my dreams and I can talk to her and sit with her. You just have to make sure that you're like, oh, 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 she's here. Okay, remember, she's here or he's here and now what, what is it that I want to talk to them about, right? Um, you can also feel their presence around you, right? Like some people have said that they can feel um, their loved one the touch their face, right? Or their hand on their shoulder, right? Or just rubbing, rubbing your back, they're rubbing your back, right? And knowing that they are here and that they are surrounding us and with us every day. How mediums talk about spirit is that we are here in this office space, right? And they're like in the kitchen. So they're with us. They're all in the same in the same space with us. We just can't see them, right? We can't touch them, right? But they're here. They know what we're doing. They totally are aware. They're at the birthday parties. They're at Christmas. They're at Thanksgiving. You know, they're with us all the time. They know what's happening because they're guiding us from the other side. That's the wonderful thing is that they're here to guide us. Now we do have free will and we don't have to, you know, if we're feeling guided and we don't want to be guided in that direction, we can always do what we want to do as well. But they are here with us and that is fabulous. Knowing that you're not alone, right? Knowing that your loved ones are guiding us. I, I think it's wonderful. I do. Um, so in conclusion, you just need to keep an open mind, right? You need to know that, oh, was that really my, someone I know, right? Uh, who, who used to do that to me? Who's tapped me on the shoulder or rubbed my back, right? Or play with my hair, right? Have an open mind. Know that it is your loved one. If it feels like it's your loved one, it is your loved one. Listen to that gut instinct. Listen to it and know that they are here with you and they are not leaving you. If you want to learn more about connecting with your loved ones, I have a freebie on my web website, stephanieleemedium.com. It's 10 plus ways of how to connect with your loved ones. Some of the ones that we talked about today and there's many more. So go ahead and get that. It's great if you want to just do it on your own or we can do it together and I can connect to your loved ones and we can have a reading. I do half hour or one hour readings and just check out stephanieleemedium.com. And I'll see you next month. Thanks. Bye.